Today is about a great new addition to Excel, which is probably going to help you sleep better. Now you see, I don't really like to share my Excel files with the team because I'm afraid they're going to mess things up. So if you're like me and you love the idea of collaboration, but you're afraid to share your files with your colleagues, I have great news for you. You can now show changes in Excel. Now this is not just data changes, but also formula changes. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so I have this file open on Excel for desktop and I just need to add some things to it. So let's say for service line two, I want to add consulting here. I'm just going to put in April 2021. Okay, now I scroll over and I notice something strange. Someone has changed the email address here and I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. But here's the thing, this file is saved on SharePoint so other people have access to it as well. So I can't really know for sure who it was. I have a suspicion, but I'm not 100% sure. To find out who did this, here's what I can do. I'm going to close this file. Let's just save the changes that I made to it. Open up your browser, go to office.com, log in, find that file and open it up. Then go to the review tab and click on show changes. So this is a new addition to Excel for the web. Now, when you click on this, you can see the changes that were done. So these were the changes that I just made. When I click on this change, I actually jump directly to that cell. I see the current value and I can see the previous value. In this case, it was empty. That's the next change that was done. Now, if I click down here, this was another change that I made before where blend was changed to blend corporation. And now down here, I get to see who made that change. Now I have the option to just make the correction here. In this case, it's simple. I'll just go in and remove the EDU. I can see that new changes were made. When I refresh this, I see the change that I just did. Now you can also revert back to a previous version. So if you don't need all the changes that were made after this, you can revert back. You can go to file, info, version history and here you get to see all the changes that were made they're all grouped together the version of the file before Chris made his change is right here now the great thing with version history is that you can see the changes that were done now if I want to revert back to a previous version so let's say to this one I just select that and I can click on restore you can also save a copy of this file if you want to. So in this case, I'm going to click on restore. Restore is in progress. So all the changes that were made are going to be removed. So even my changes in this case. Before we take a detailed look at track changes, let's address some of the questions that you probably have right now. What type of changes are tracked? All changes that you make to values in cells and formulas are tracked. Formatting and changes to charts are currently not tracked. You're going to find a link in the description that's going to give you more details on this. Another question you might have is, is this available in the free version of Excel? Yes, it is. If you have a personal Microsoft account, you can share your Excel file with others. And as long as you have your file saved on OneDrive, the changes are going to be tracked and shown. Are my changes tracked when I use Excel for desktop? Yes, changes are tracked no matter which endpoint you use. So you can be in Teams, you can be on mobile, on desktop, your changes are going to be tracked as long as the file is saved on either OneDrive or SharePoint. Can I show changes on desktop? Currently you can't. This button isn't there in the review tab. So you have to open your file in Excel online to be able to see the button and use it. But we can be optimistic and hope to see it soon in Excel for desktop as well. Let's jump back and I'm going to show you some really cool aspects of this tool. I have this file with more data opened in Excel for the web. And let's say I'm interested in a specific section of this file. So this part looks suspicious. I'm just going to highlight this range, right mouse click. Check this out. I have show changes. When I select this, automatically a filter is applied to only this range and I can see the changes that were done to this part only. Also notice this, when a lot of changes were done together, they're all grouped together. I can click on see changes to see the individual changes or hide them to just see the grouping. What else do we have under filter? 
Well, we can filter to a specific sheet. Let's say I want to see the changes that were done in the report sheet. When I select it, the filter changes to report and I can see the changes for this sheet. Notice this one is a formula change. This was the previous formula and a plus 20 was added to it. If you want to see the changes that were done to the whole workbook, you can clear the filter. Now, according to Microsoft, changes are tracked up to 60 days, but this can be less depending on the volume of information that was changed. In case you don't see your changes here, but you're sure that changes were made to this workbook, you can get to them by going to File, Info, Version History. You get all the previous dates here. You can open up these groupings and get an idea of the changes that were done. And don't forget, if you want to restore to a previous version, you just have to click on restore and you get to that version. Also keep in mind that all the features you see here are available when you use Excel in Teams. As you can see with show changes and version history, you can safely collaborate with your colleagues or with your family. I've added a link to the description of this video that's going to give you more information about this feature. Since this is a new feature, Microsoft also relies on your feedback to make it better. So as you're using it, if you come across anything that you want to share, provide your feedback. I hope you enjoyed the news and you enjoyed this video. Do hit that thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and I'm going to see you in the next video.